Ghost Trick, Phantom Detective, the D is red. Dog has played this before. I am blind. Uh, Dog has played this. I believe you can find a playthrough of it on his channel. I know, because that's what I uh, used to steal his uh, layout for. <laughs> I stole it from him. <laughs> Must have been unconscious for a while. My head feels fuzzy. When I came to, there was a woman standing there. A woman I don't know. At least I don't think I know her. And then there was a man with a gun. I don't know him either, but, well, probably not anyway. Welcome, Woozy Tiger. Now, I'm not the kind of guy who can just stand back and watch a poor woman get shot, but I have just one little problem. I'm already dead myself. There's gotta be something, uh, there's gotta be me, no question about that. After all, do you see any other dead bodies lying around here? No. I felt bad for her, sure, but what can I do? I'm dead. I just got done reading her testament book that was very similar to this. But just as I was thinking that. This is no time to be lolling around dead. You're the only one who can save her. What? The whole world just changed on me. So we are a ghost who does tricks. I I have heard this is a game written by the same uh, the same team that went on to do Phoenix Wright. So it's a Phoenix Wright kind of story stretched out to an entire full game's length. Uh, yes, that is a thing I can do. I forgot it doesn't save that setting by default um so bam yeah that's how i had it when i was uh who's he wants it setting things up but it doesn't save that setting so i'm gonna have to remember to do that every time shu takumi is he the is he the phoenix right guy Welcome to the ghost world, land of the dead. Who are you? No time for introductions, you gotta save her. I know you can do it. All you have to do is use your powers. What powers? Ah, I mean, it's certainly easier now than it would have been a decade ago. Look at my corpse. Look at my corpse. The blue flame is my soul. bright white spot nearby. That's a core. Oh, he's also the voice of Phoenix, right? Oh, I didn't know that. I have only played the first three Phoenix Wright games, so there was no voice acting aside from the very, like, you know, hold it, objection. Take that. Railway crossing gate. Best way to understand is to try it. Learn by doing. Great. Okay, so touch my soul. Now, with my finger still on it, slide the soul across to connect it with the core. My soul is now possessed the cross. Oh, I, my soul has now possessed the crossing gate. So now I'm a crossing gate. Now use the crossing gate to save the woman. In a moment, time will start to flow normally again. That'll be my chance. I mean, the first three are phenomenal. I like, I, I, they, they were amazing. In fact, I went and got the PlayStation 4 collection just to play them again, because I lost my DS. Hello. Hello. Sorry, I almost fell asleep. That's all right. I almost died. And then I but died. I did die. But now I'm a crossing gate. Yes. See. Okay, time's gonna flow. Me. And now I trick. Oh, wow. This is some really smooth animation for the DS. 
Yeah, it was, it's super smooth. I've definitely heard this music before. I am, in fact, a ghost who does tricks. Ghost trick. I'm getting the vibe that this might have been a game that was set for a different console and then got ported to the DS last minute because they're not really making use of this screen. And from what I understand, they won't. All I have to do is touch the trick button. And I have changed the woman's fate, all by just a little bit. Yeah, she's she's uh, about 10 feet away when, when she can get shot. Not very good, but I'm learning how to use my powers. When is Ghost Trick HD Edition? It hasn't been... It hasn't been announced. Oh, there's a range limit. Bang! No! You shot me! There is a guitar! <laughs> Lady, run away faster! Uh, can I get a side stream? Oh, that's right. I should probably do that. Good night. One of the nice things about emulators is I don't have to worry about them fucking, like, going all cattywampus if I minimize the window. Oh, except I don't get audio. objects that I ought to be able to manipulate my own corpse. Do I have to be in that pose? It's not a very dignified pose. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna trick out my own body. This will be good. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Cause you're fucking dead, pal! There's no blood in your veins! I'm pretty sure that's the pose that all the, like, uh, like most of the soldiers die in uh, the Metal Gear Solid games. They always seem to end up in that face down, ass up kind of thing. Well, that's Johnny Sasaki's thing. Yeah. I can only manipulate non-living things. Well, I'm non-living. Oh, well, no corpses for me. Oh, yeah, good call. Blind. Do something! I'm I'm adding the I'm adding the tags. Ah, ah. Do something. I, I, what if somebody was gonna come in and spoil the game and tell me that it turns out that I was actually killed by my own self in a memory fugue state? Oh no! He knows. What's happening to her? Well, she's probably being menaced with a shotgun. You can slide the screen. Ooh. 
yep, still being menaced with a shotgun by uh, Evil Skeeter from Nickelodeon's Doug. That was a Phoenix Wright ass sound effect right there. Mm hmm. No, we failed. We failed. Two by two face of blue. No, oh, my body. I was in that body. Did they mocap for this? Um, you know, I'm not sure, actually. Yeah, yeah or rot rotoscope. Yeah, rotoscope, probably. That makes more sense for something on a on a 2D plane like this and very simple, because I don't think I'd ever heard anything like that for um for a DS. Her fate remains unchanged. What good are these ghost tricks of mine? But just as I was thinking this. Oh no, it's the lamp from the Pixar ads. Lamp is talking to me. I'm gonna ignore you, cause you're a lamp. No voices. No voices. Psychic brain voices. Okay, so we can do poltergeist stuff, and we can do psychic mind talk stuff. With other ghosts. With other ghosts. Well, she's a ghost now. For now? For now. Can we do time travel stuff with our lamp sidekick? She got bullets in her. She's already dead. What do you want me to do, lamp? That sounds uncomfortably intimate. I barely know you. I'm so determined to save this woman. After all, it's not like I know her. But I guess I'll take the desk lamp up on his invitation anyway. A sentence I never thought I'd have to say with my mouth out loud in the real world. It's fine. We'll do it. My reason we is twofold. Have... What? what? We, we don't have anything better to do. I mean, We're dead. We could stay here discarded like trash. Like this woman who's also lying around. And also, I have nothing else to lose at this point. Oh, yeah. Trick time. Also, look at my hair. Thought bubble. Those are my thoughts. What I'm saying to myself in my head. So we just think stuff at, at other ghosts and we talk to. have to enter the ghost world. And that's my ticket. Give it a little poke. Oh no, I can't reach. I'm too small. Wiggly. Fine, I'm in a door. Oh, okay. It tells me ahead of time what I can do. Yes. Some things have things you can do. Some things are just things. So anytime you are not in the ghost world, time will flow. 
So I unfold. Aha! And that gets me close to lamp. And now I am in lamp. Huh. That's weird. What's all that energy coming off of my corpse? And her corpse is yellow. Well, her soul node thing is yellow. You're special. I don't want to be special. I have the powers of the dead. I passed. Yeah, new power. Give me new power. Give me new powers. Possess objects and manipulate them. I tried to possess a corpse. You said explicitly that I can't do that, lamp. So I might have to... Uh, okay, so it's looking like this game is going to use the DS more than I was giving it credit for earlier. And if that happens, I might need some help navigating DS Mume because there are kind of some other things you can do with the DS that I don't know how they've yeah, simulated. Worry, you're good. Not going to have to open and close it. Not going to have to blow nope. into the microphone. Nope. Not going to have to fucking expose nope. it to sunlight. Yeah, none of that's none of that matters with Ghost Trick, fortunately. I want to play the Sunlight game. There's something else I can do. What's that? What can I do with the corpse? Boktai the yeah, yeah, the vampire. Oh, is it GBA? All yeah. Right. I played it in a DS. Yeah, it had a special cartridge with a solar sensor. Yeah. Oh, GBA, right. Not, okay. Yeah, yeah, I played it in the DS, but yeah, it was a Game Boy Advance cartridge. But it was, I was thinking of, uh, I was like, there's no way it was on the Game Boy Color. That's ridiculous. That's far too old. But that's not what you said. My brain just went wonky. All right, so. All right, I'm a sperm. Can you hear me? Hi. Hello. Say words. She's very unconscious. She's double unconscious. Wake up. When I came to, I was already dead. How are we going to... When I use my powers on a corpse, I can go back to the past to a time four minutes before that person's death. Four minutes before death. But there's a catch. It only works on new corpses. Corpses that have been dead for less than a day. And she's still well within that time limit. Okay, but are we talking about like... Uh, like an Earth Day, like a Lunar Day, like a Martian Day. What about Earth Daylight Savings Day. Time? Has Earth Day. Also, oh, I just realized your uh, layers are a bit wampus. Uh, I think you want to put your bit cup behind the chat. Here, chat, say a bunch of nonsense. Type in your favorite flavor of Pokemon. There we go. There that's, you go. that's better. Thank you for your nonsense assistance. Purple Pokemon. <laughs> We're talking about fucking ghost powers here. You're looking for sense in this shit? I feel like Lamp is quickly growing tired of our bullshit. Yeah. Four minutes!
Rewind time. It's like Quantum Leap, but very limited. Very specific. And so now I'm going back in time to witness the woman's last four minutes alive. Not as a fuzzy distant memory of a past, but as a very real living present. I was also there. So. Four minutes. First we get to watch it. Okay. Wake up. This is where we gather our info. Are you okay? What happened? Um, he's dead. Dignified death. It's very, very good anime hair. She's got the weird, like, rooster tabs going on. And he's got the giant dunce cap of blonde. My business card. Oh, the shotgun. That's his business card. I thought you were going to give us an actual business card. Get on Vista Print, you prick. This is a whodunit. I am playing a whodunit. It, it is. You're trying to figure out how you died and why you died. <laughs> You're hoping Capcom would announce this. No, we're going to get the Resident Evil 4 remake. Yes. I'll play it. I don't think it needs to exist, but I'll play it. All right, we're going to rub out all the last traces of Temsic left in this country. What's Temsic, I ask you? Not really. Don't answer that question. I'm talking rhetorically to the game. She's also confused. He doesn't even know. He doesn't know. Nowhere to run. Time to that Temsic these nuts. Yes, very... That's, that's it. Are we going to be able to use that fucking wrecking ball this time? Because, like, they teased us with it. As long as, I, as long as I'm standing underneath this wrecking ball and it's not moving anywhere, I'm fine. Thank you for that very specific dialogue you just, uh, you just gave us. Who you is? You don't know me and I don't know you. This is business. I kill people. Is all I do. I flip my shotgun around Terminator 2 style. So long, sister. Yep, yep, we saw that. We did that. So that happened last time. And then that happened. Kind of a flashy weapon for a hitman, don't you think? And they call me Nearsighted Jigo. Oh, by the way, I think your mic's peaking a little bit. A little bit? Yeah, I had to turn yeah. it. Oh, I turned it up when we were um, testing. Doing tech stuff. Yeah, and I never put it back down. There we go. Check, check, one, two, that's yellow. Better. Let's buy some glasses. About glasses. Get them glasses. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future. Yeah, right. yeah. Hitman, a job that requires, you know, typically stealth and precision. Nothing says cells and precision like an incredibly loud scatter gun. It's kind of ironic when you think about it. A woman toyed with by fate and a man toyed with by a ghost. I don't think you know what that word means. And we're <laughs> not getting into that argument. Nope. Yeah, but she's still dead. <laughs> yeah, end of the day, still a corpse. It's like uh, Lannis Morissette's lawyers have filed a cease and desist before I could even finish the sentence. <laughs> you can change that with your ghost tricks. Chico wishes he was as cool as Anton Sugar. I have been meaning to give that movie a second chance because I remember being really annoyed by the ending. So I'll watch it again. It's been a few years. I was also mad that it got Best Picture and not There Will Be Blood. First ghost, then trick. Part one ghost, part two trick, part three profit. As many you times can rewind as, as many times as you want. 
great. So that's telling me they're going to give me a lot of room to explore with all the fucking shit in the junkyard and things. Uh, unfortunately, oh. we start down here. Fuck! Ghost trick repeat. Tom Cruise becomes a ghost fighting aliens. My starting point is where her corpse was. Okay. Okay. Four minutes before the- oh. We are now timed, but time stops when we're in ghost land. Okay. Boink. But, I mean, it's all gonna play out the same way. You already know how it's gonna go. No time to lose. Time is passing. The last seconds of our life are counting down. Looks like I better get up there fast. Have a look at the top of the screen. Or at the top screen. That's how much time she has left. Get to her quickly before all the sand is gone. Yes, yes, I understand. Up you go. Go. Uh, let's uh, roll. Aha. Ghost. I'm in a mannequin. I have a knife. Uh, refrigerator open. Blender. Yep, yep, yep. Got to get out all the Temzik. Close. I have a fan and a flag. Oh. I uh, guess I'll turn on the blender. Ah, ha, ha. Quick, get up there. No. Nope. Oh, no, too late. No. Am I hosed? Am I boned? Am you I might be hosed. Well, let's see. Let's, let's see what happens. See if it comes down. Temzik is Kismet spelled backwards. Eh, all right. That's, that could be a thing. It is. Kismet is a thing. So, yeah, the game will be like, oh, yeah, if I had done that, I could get up there. Timing is important when it comes to ghost tricks. Kismet being a, a, a quasi-divine fateful meeting of, of two uh, yeah. people, it, it, typically. Yeah, but... it usually means like fate, fate or something. I can press whatever button's being displayed on screen at any time. Gotta find the right timing. I want to be in the fan. All right. There you go. Comes Ghost. back down. Trick. Trick. Ha ha. Assuming I well. haven't lost too much time. All right, few more steps. Time to crush this man with a wrecking ball. I feel like they're making time pass faster. Whatever they take. The over. time is not like four minutes directly. It's it's like a bastardized like no. It's it's all adjusting. That's why they show you sand and not time. Wait, so I can set up... Oh man, that'd be kind of cool. Can I set up things to happen in previous loops that will then play because the... 
Nope, every the, loop starts or starts the same. Oh, but the guitar and the gate did the thing that I did the last yeah. time without because that happened before she died. Go three. All right, pedal, ring. Got to do something. Near-sighted Jigo never misses, as long as the target is within point-blank range. Made it in time. Just barely. And in that split second, hope was born. Fate changed! So, okay, so you changed the situation, which means you get a checkpoint. time. Go, bike. With me in it. Oh, yeah. Let's hit him with this ladder. Fuck you. Damn it. Really? I can't make the street light turn on and off? to go back. What's this? What's this lever do? I see nothing wrong with this plan. This is okay. Looks like a step. <laughs> you hear something? Uh... uh yeah. Claw. Murder! Oh, bye. Well, we didn't think this through. Oh, okay, so we're, we're dealing with Looney Tunes physics here. Uh, that guy is fucking dead. Okay. He, he had the whole, like... That man should be a a a very wide pile of red and and bits. Yeah. Um this game is almost cartoonish in its in its but it's like taken seriously. I did all that. I'm basically a god. I never knew I could get so aroused from killing a man. We dropped a wrecking ball on his head. <laughs> he did have the whole, like, yeah, Tom and Jerry thing where he was, like, clinging to the side of the ball as it rolled away. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, we're not going to see him again in this game. <laughs> Bye. He's fucking dead. Guess what? Nearsighted Jigo is now a ghost, and he can possess shit, and he's going to be coming for you. When I came back to the prison, it was raining. Saved the life of the stranger, now sitting forlornly in the rain. Even as the story of my life on this planet comes to an end. Stranger. That word strikes a chord. And the terrible truth begins to die. What is it with all the fucking film noir shit I've been playing recently? Between this and Disco Elysium and Chicken Police... This game's a little noir. Its narration is very noir. This the presentation noir. of the story. Yeah. The aesthetic doesn't feel very noir. No, no. It's it, the, the aesthetic is anime as balls. But, like, anime noir, that's a thing.
I know I've seen that before places. And the war writing is very fun. <laughs> what is this place? And most important of all, why was I killed? Yeah, we kind of know nothing about ourselves. I have fabulous hair. Just call me Ray. As in Ray of Light in the Darkness. Yeah, you think very highly of yourself. And that's fine, honestly. I don't really like the, the visual aesthetics of noir. All very, like, dark and dark. obfuscated, like, smoke and rain and all sorts of, like... And very, you know, trench coats and... and it's very... It's very dull. It's very samey. Black and white with a tint of brown, yeah. Like, we can have colors. Look at this shit. We're working in a primary red palette here. Come on. This is great. Reds and blues? I love it. Some of us get our memories back. Some of us never do. But who cares? There's only one path left. And that's to go straight to hell. Also, this is a very good image. This is a good, very good Whoa. face he makes. When the sun rises in the morning, I'm afraid you're going to cease to exist. That's not very long. No, we have a time limit. I want to save my own life. We could use ghost tricks to save ourselves. Wouldn't I have tried that? I mean, I'm a desk lamp. I'm not really sure why I'm a desk lamp. In case we're unable to use our powers on our own corpses. <sighs> Only exist until tomorrow morning. That's inevitable. So what happens? In the morning, I'm going to cease to exist. Apparently, there's nothing I can do to change that, but just the same, I still want to know. I want to know my story. The lost story of my fate, right up until the time of my death. And until I learn that, I won't be able to rest in peace. Yeah, yeah. I'll, be all, I'll be all kerfuffled. <laughs> People die when they are killed. Yes. Correct. <laughs> I think that's a line from Ill Bleed. Oh, is it? Yeah, I was uh, pretty sure that's a, from a weird horror game. I never played Ill Bleed. I had a copy. Dagron got me a copy of it as a gift one time. Oh, yeah. I never got around to playing it. Or it's Melty Blood. I don't fucking know. It's from a game. Or it's from an anime. Oh, okay. Ill Bleed is very much not an anime. I always thought it was like a weird line from Ill Bleed, because Ill Bleed has a bunch of weird dialogue. <sighs> Time to find a way to play Dreamcast games and play fucking Ill Bleed. Boof. The person who witnessed your death, she should have some clues. Not only that, she might not even she might even know who I am. And she's really hot. Right? Because we have an animated protagonist, so he has to be an irascible horn dog. Them's the rules. Nope. Nobody in this game is like that. Huh. This game subverts all of that shit. What was I doing here tonight in a place like this? That woman probably knows the answer. Never forget that. She's the key to everything tonight. This is a very wholesome game about murdering people with wrecking balls. Yeah, you know what? Like, any character in this game who even approaches Horny is, like, very different about it. Man, I don't know if I can deal in a world without Horny. Like, you know me. I gotta go... I gotta go get weirdly into car magazines. That's true. There will be none of that here. I'm sorry. Especially when, um, 
Especially when there's like weird stuff in Phoenix Wright games sometimes. Old bag gets horny from time to time. Yeah. Usually there's also to there's as a joke. Yeah, there's some weird age gaps in those games. Yeah. Some very concerning age gaps are in those games. Thankfully, they tend to keep Pearl out of the line of fire, which would have been like the she's really like weird one. Yeah. But like, isn't Maya supposed to be like 16 or something? She's like 16, but she doesn't get too particularly sexualized. There's that one where she wears like a maid outfit and that's it. And that wasn't really, that was kind of whatever. Me, the mystery. Lost my life in a lonely spot on the outskirts of town. I'm trying to regain my lost memories and find out the truth behind my death. My only lead is the red-headed woman who witnessed that death. A woman who was at the scene of my death. I don't know her name or anything else about her. She's already been killed once by the hitman, and I saved her with my powers of the dead. <laughs> so Luke, this reminds me of fucking nothing. So... Yeah, up a bit, though, the the not-that-kind-of-parody animation. Apparently, you know that Nickelodeon Smash Brothers game that came out? Yes. They had to um, redo part of that game. They had to put out a patch because one of the characters was saying a line that turned out to be from that kind of parody animation. And it got, <laughs> like, just, it became a meme, and then they put it in the game, not realizing what it was. That's funny. So then they had to fucking redo, uh, they had to redo her lines <laughs> once they learned. He calls himself Ray. I don't know who he really is. He taught me the secret powers of the dead. Oh my God. I just remembered when Mia possesses Pearl. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's weird. Oops. Forgot about that. Forgot about that. That's weird. Thanks for reminding me about that. Oh, cool. that's right. That's right. Oh, that's, uh. Let's stick with something more wholesome. Yeah, <laughs> this like game murder. is way more wholesome. <laughs> yeah, murder's okay. That's so funny how uh that's it's just so fucked how our how our brains work that way, but I, I can't not accept it. He calls himself nearsighted Jigo. He's a sniper who carries a golden shotgun because he has no idea how to do his job. Somebody apparently ordered him to kill the red-headed woman and me, and he's gone now due to, an unfortunate, due to an unfortunate accident. I got the impression he was hired to kill me, and the red-headed woman was him just, like, cleaning up and, you know, no witnesses and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the later games, Maya is, like, older. Because it's, it's years later. The place where I lost my life. It appears to be a junkyard on the outskirts of town. Here I met Ray, who taught me about my powers and a red-headed woman who might have information about my death. But when do I get to see, like, a big-titted Herlock Shloms or whatever his name is? Nope, That's the sorry. question. That's the question. So I don't think I can do this. Oh, maybe I can. I got some weird error message when I loaded up saying that I couldn't access the battery backup for saves or whatnot. Oh, then you'll have to use save states. I'm gonna, yeah, just in case. I set up a directory that I thought is what it wanted, but I'm gonna use save states just in case. It depends on the EEP ROM kind of setting you've got, but now's not the time to fuck with it. Yeah, yeah. Just if you get a tweet from me later tonight going, no, oh, my progress, you know what that means. All right, let's go. Can we talk? Or... So we can do think speak. Let's shimmy. Give a good shimmy. We can do think speak at other ghosts, but can we communicate with the living? In I mean, I suppose if we can possess things, we could just possess a fucking pencil. So you can click thought bubbles. Looks like she's saying something to herself. 
but unfortunately I can't hear it from here. If you touch the thought bubbles of the living, you can listen in on what they're saying. I just take a little listen. Who cares about, you know, personal privacy and things of that nature? I'm just gonna read her thoughts. We're dead, who cares? What in the world just happened? Aw, oh, the crane moved all by itself and then the big iron ball fell all by itself. That's her voice now. Cannon. It started raining all by itself. Lots of things are happening all by themselves, huh? Huh? Although the rain, I think, is just, that's how weather works. I don't think that is, you know, in the same category. Nope, his ghosts. Also his powers. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, please let this be a running thing. Please it's let not. Damn it. Oh. I know. It's like you could go the whole game, make, but we can't have that because we need to cooperate with her. I want the game. I want the game where, like, in addition to all of this, the extra layer is like, okay, but you also have to do it in such a way that doesn't break your cover. So you have to make it convincingly look like she's the one doing it all. Cat. Meow. Time for Cat to feast. Cat will devour the flesh of dead human. Cats don't usually do that. But what in the world just happened? Yeah, she's Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> Ghost Trick spiritual successor where you can't blow your cover, yeah. Some kind of note. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? I want to see the note. Let me see the note. Uh, oh, that's right. Note. Read myself. I don't remember writing it. Ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, motherfucker. I need to read the note. Where's Where? the call coming from? I don't know. Before you helped to avert her fate, didn't a telephone call come in and around this time, too? Oh, yeah. That's right. We're gonna find out who his handler is! The other end of this line is the man who ordered my murder. So we're gonna travel through the phone lines with our ghost powers. Um, well. And then I saw him, right there, on the other end of the line. I saw the face of the man who ordered me dead. And he was wearing a Mickey Mouse outfit. Okay. <laughs> That's not what I was expecting. The fuck? Fucking Kaiser Wilhelm von Eyebrows over here. Yes. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> Wrong number. <laughs> Is it done? Has the target been eliminated? Oops, sorry, wrong number. Ghosts exist by possessing inanimate objects. However, there's we can move from place to place over great distances. We can jump from point by moving over phone lines. Okay. So that's your teleport. I've done all I can do to help you. Oh, sun's coming up. I'm going to die now. Bye. I'm afraid not. 
I am a lamp. Ask for my help. Many mysterious things will happen in this town tonight. I'm trusting you to get to the bottom of them and find out the truth. Use the, my powers of the dead to find the truth. Tomorrow morning, I cease to exist. I need to pursue my mystery and find out the truth about myself. Ah, all the mysterious shit will teach me who my own killer is. Time for me to have a spooky fucking night. I have his phone number. What the fuck will ghosts do in an age of cellular communications? Uh, die. Really fast. And so the story of the search for myself begins. A story that will last only one night. Tomorrow morning I will cease to exist, and I'm surprisingly okay with that fact. I have to find the answers before the sun comes up. Why was I killed? What exactly is going to happen in this town tonight? 